Hello everyone, Nikki from Chasing Light. This is going to be a really quick, fast tutorial to show you how you can make images look really soft and creamy very quickly. So this is a raw file. I shoot all of my images in raw. And this one is right now, right out of the camera, straight into raw. So as you can see, there's some blown out highlights and the color is kind of meh. It's not super yummy and delicious. So I'll just show you exactly what I do when I want to create a super soft background. Um, this one shot on a 200, so you know, as long as you have a lot of space behind your subject, you're going to have a lot of blur and it's going to be super, super soft to begin with, but you can even make this look a little more buttery. So I'll just show you how I do it. I normally will drop my highlights down and this was an overcast day, so the highlights are not actually bright sunshine so they're easier to manage. Now if I was in direct sunlight I probably wouldn't be able to bring the detail back in the hair. So that's what I'm doing now just dropping those and any other corrections I'm going to look at in this step is simply going to be color and her face for my taste is a, just a little bit orange so I'm just going to pull back the temperature just a tiny tiny bit. I'm going to come up in to the HSL gray scale tab up here and I'm going to do the same thing. Click on saturation and just pull back my oranges just a little bit, literally two. And that's good enough for now. I think that's all the adjustments I want to make in this step. So I'm just going to click open object and here it is. My next step is going to be new smart object via copy. Double click on this little square here and bring it back into raw. Okay, so here we are back into raw. Now I'm gonna do some overall softening and color corrections. So as some of you guessed in the contest, in raw, you are going to drag the contrast slider to the left, and you're also gonna drag the clarity slider to the left. And as you can see now, it's really drastically softened the entire image. We're not even remotely concerned with her because we are going to use a layer mask and bring all that back. Now at this point, you can adjust your colors. You can bump up the vibrance if you want, or you can pull it back just a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the HSL and I'm going to go to my hue layer and I'm going to start playing with the colors there. So the blues, I'm going to want them to be just a little bit more a cyan or aqua color. The oranges, we're going to make them a little bit more yellow or you're going to make them a little bit more orange. It just depends what your preference is. And the yellows, we're going to pull this back to the left again because I'm going to want maybe more fall colors and the greens a little more yellow as well. Um, the reds, let's see what happens. I'm not looking at her, remember? I'm only looking at the environment at this point. And I think that's okay. Let's come into our saturation really quick. I'm going to pull back the reds just a bit bump up the oranges a bit because I do want that fall look. Come into the luminance tab now. I'm going to pull the aquas down because they're a little bit blown out. And the oranges, let's see if we go up, come bring it back down. And that's pretty good. We have a little bit of icky banding up here, but I'll adjust that in our next step. Now come up here to your detail sharpening tab. I'm going to reduce the sharpening, reduce everything in the sharpening panel, and I'm going to increase my luminance just a little bit for noise reduction. And again, this is going to soften it even some more. Um, if you think that maybe you have a little bit too much color happening, you can come back into your first tab and just reduce your vibrance overall. Here you can also play with your temperature. So if you, again, if you want more um, warmer over all of the background. You can go this way, add maybe a little bit of pink in as well. So here we have a really cool result. And what I'm going to do is just click OK and get rid of this image. OK, so now look at the difference. So that's before and that's after. It's super creamy. It's softened. It looks so much better. And then the next step is to just add a mask to this and simply grab your black brush and usually around 50% of a flow, and then just start painting it off of your subject. And that 
is exactly how you can create a buttery soft background for any images that you're shooting that you want something really soft and romantic and this is the quickest easiest way to do it so once you mask off the portions of that effect off of your subject or subjects you can choose to take it all off or not I'm just gonna lightly feather it down just so it kind of blends I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here because I want to make sure that I get it off and so I'm going to use my hard brush because I don't want the spray and you know how it can spray when you're using a soft brush over the edges so I want to get as close as possible without affecting the background and the nice thing about this is because some of the hair itself was already a little bit over highlighted this effect actually will help adjust that so I'm not going to worry about taking it directly off of her hair so much on the edges like that yeah so that's it people So there you have it. There's your before, meh, and there's your after. And then at this point, you can adjust the opacity of that entire one, and then just keep on going with your workflow, do your retouching, apply your actions or filters and or alien skin, and then you're off to the races. Enjoy. <laughs>